So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the brush I used to edit my render right after this intro. So the first thing you wanna do is install my brush, and how to do it is you can click your layer, right clicking your layer, and click this gear icon, then you can click this preset manager tab, then you can click load, and you can click this ABR files, uh, the name is release, double click it and there it is. And if you want to spot my brush, uh, just remember that it has square brackets on it. So if it has square brackets, that's my brush. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the first brush. So it's the typical soft brush. Uh, you'll know how to use it. You can use your brush tool and you can just brush it. And as well as the hard brush. And the other one is the line glow brush uh, and how to use it. You can grab yourself a pencil. Then you click the first point, then you click the second point. Then after that, you can click right click, then you can click stroke path, and make sure your tool is brush, then it's on simulate pressure, then you can click OK. So there it is, the line glow. And you can also make an angular, like this. Or you can hold and drag on your second point to make more smooth. Okay, there's our line glow brush. And moving on to the next brush, is the light brush. Okay, how to use it is you can just uh, I use this brush for lighting you can just brush it like this it's great for lighting and the next brush is this soft light brush to 5% then after you select this brush you can set the flow to 5% okay scale it up a little bit and you can see it has more soft brush than the other than the, the last one You can see it's more soft than this. Okay, moving on to the next brush. It's the heart light brush. So, uh, you can see it's all a heart, but it has smooth gradient on the end and the start. So, you can use pencil with this brush and make it a little neat. So like that. And moving on to the next brush. It's the hair or smudge brush. Uh, I usually use this for render. Here, let me show you. Let's open up a render. Mm, this one. Okay. So we're gonna duplicate it in this workspace. You can see there's my hair. Then you can cut it out. But I, for this tutorial, I wouldn't be doing that. You can just click your smudge tool. Here it looks like a pointing finger. Then you can click the hairbrush. Hold and drag your mouse till it look like that see it looks like a hair if you zoom out then you might do this for the other with the smudge tool and I usually make it a little better but I'm not feeling into it right now so moving on to the next brush it's the particle brush I usually use this brush for like the particle the sort because it's it's doing it randomly you see? So that is all for today. And I'll see you in my next video.